Hello everyone, this is Oshani from Jeddah.com. Today, we will be discussing a very beautiful problem from the American math competitions. I'll also give you a little challenge in this particular video. If you can solve it, put it in the comment section. The best commenter is usually awarded. The problem is from a branch of mathematics called combinatorics. Combinatorics is the art of counting things efficiently. So, if you are new to mathematical Olympiad training, you can probably look out for this particular subject. It's very beautiful. You learn a lot of clever ways of looking at counting techniques. Okay. So, let's look at one such problem. We will learn a lot from this. There is a person called Rodrigo who is counting squares. So he's drawing lines on the coordinate plane and then counting how many squares those lines pass through. So I'll give you an example. Let's suppose this is the coordinate plane. You can think of it as a grid. This is a coordinate plane. It has a bunch of horizontal lines and a bunch of vertical lines and it's broken up with the small unit squares. And suppose Rodrigo has drawn a line segment connecting these two points, just as in the picture. Now let's count the number of squares this particular line has passed through. Here is 1, here is 2, here is 3 and here is 4. So there are 4 squares that this particular line is passing through. So, the question is this, that if Rodrigo draws a line from 2000, 3000 to 5000, 8000, from the point 2000, 3000 to the point 5000, 8000, how many squares will that line pass through? So, let's see how we can solve this problem. So, let's draw a little model of what's happening, okay? We have 2000, 3000 and we have, let's draw it here. So I'm also drawing two horizontal and vertical lines and the other point is 5000, 8000. So, this is 5000, 8000. And he has drawn a line connecting these two points. So, of course, I'm not drawing the entire coordinate plane. It will be very hard to actually draw it. And even if it's very hard to draw all the squares from 2000, 3000 to 5000, 8000. In fact, let me ask you a challenge question. This challenge one, it's very easy. Even if you want to draw this part, of the coordinate plane. Can you tell me, so this part means just draw a line here, draw a line here, so it's like a rectangle. So how many unit squares are here in this particular part of the coordinate plane? How many unit squares? So, this is the part of the coordinate plane that we are looking at. If you can solve this problem, put it in the comment section. It's actually very simple. You should be able to do it very quickly. Okay. So, now you're starting from the point 2000, 3000 and you want to go to 5000, 8000. Let's look at how much we have shifted right and how much we have shifted up. You see, though we are traveling along these lines, as an effect of that, we are actually shifting somewhat to the right and somewhat to the up, right? So, how much did we shift to the right? Well, this is 5000, this final line, this is 5000 and this line is 2000. So, the gap between them the gap between them is 3,000. The gap between them is 3,000. So, you are moving 
3,000 units to the right. 5,000 minus 2,000 equal to 3,000 unit to the right. That's what you're doing. Okay. How much are you moving upward? Well, you are starting from the level of 3,000. That's given by this particular number. And you are moving up to the level of 8,000. That's given by this particular number. So, the difference of them is 5,000. So, the, this is the right move. You are moving right 3,000 units. And you are moving 8,000 minus 2,000. That is 5,000 unit upward. That's what's happening. So every time Rodrigo moves to the right, moves along that particular straight line, he is doing actually two things. He is moving to the right and moving upward. Later, when you learn a little bit more about mathematics, you will learn that this is called component distribution of a particular move. You can learn it in the physics program or in the mathematics program related to vectors. You are splitting down a particular movement into components. 3,000 right, 5,000 up. Okay? So, but we are interested in, the, in something else. In, we are interested in like this. We want to know how much does it move up for one unit right move. Okay, so for one unit right move, how much am I moving up? That will give me the rate of movement upward per unit rightward. The rate of movement vertically per unit move horizontally. This has a fancy name. It's called the slope of the line. How fast you are moving vertically per unit move horizont. That's sometimes called the slope of the line. You don't really need to know the slope of, I mean, the concept of slope in more detail to solve this problem. But it's a good thing to know. Okay, so let's calculate this. So for, for 3000 right movement we have 5000 up moves right up movement so for one right movement one movement to the right we have 5000 by 3000 up move which is 5 by 3 okay so what does this tell us it tells us that okay if you have if you move from left to right, let's say from here. If you move from here to one unit to the right. And then if you move one unit to the up. So the 5 by 3 is approximately 1.66. One unit to the up. Two unit to the up. So somewhere here. So for one unit to right move. You have 1.66 unit up moves. That's what it say. So if I draw the boxes, let me draw the boxes. Okay. If I draw the boxes, now I know that this is the line that Rodrigo is drawing for one unit. So I'm just zooming into the picture and I'm looking at what's happening. For one unit right move. And for that it's going up 1.66 or 5 by 3 units up. So basically Rodrigo's line cuts through two squares. For one unit right move. It cuts through two squares. Okay, so what happens for if I go two units to the right. Two unit right. Well... It will go 5 by 3 times 2, which is 10 by 3, which is approximately 3.33. 3. 
unit to the up. Okay, so let's not confuse it. Yeah, so let's draw this picture a little bit more. So you move one one more unit to the right, and let's draw three of them carefully. Three of them. Here we go. Here we go. Three of them. But we need a little bit more. Because 3.33. So Rodrigo's line goes like this. Here we are. So what Rodrigo's line is doing. Yeah. It's moving up. And it's moving up to 10 by 3 or 3.33 units. As you move two units to the right. And now you see what's happening here, right? You can easily check. Finally, when he goes three steps to the right, okay, three steps to the right, the up movement is five by three times three, which is five. So let's go to the third step to the right. Let's draw the five boxes one after another and let's continue this line that Rodrigo is drawing and see we have hit a corner. Okay, so now let's count the number of squares that Rodrigo has covered. One, two, three, four. 5, 6, and 7. Don't forget this little box. Cut through this one, right? So once he reaches this corner, this pattern will actually continue, right? So 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So every time he takes 3 steps to the right, Rodrigo cuts through 7 boxes. 7 unit squares. Now notice that he takes total 3000 steps to the right. For every 3 such steps, he cut through, cuts through 7 boxes. So for 3000 steps to the right, how many boxes? So this is just one line from here. For 3 boxes, three steps to the right Rodrigo therefore for 3000 boxes steps to the right then how many unit squares is just uh, one step from here is a second challenge question give it a try okay and put it in the comment section. Thank you for joining in today. I'll see you in the next video. If you are interested in the outstanding Mac Olympiad programs that you have, check the link in the description.